Good morning, everybody. How are we doing this morning? Well, little overcast today. We didn't get the drying potential, but as you saw, we got this all sort of raked up last night. Um, raked up decently, but um, I think we're going to turn every one of these into, uh, into silage. We've got a fair amount, as it stands, of um, hay. At least enough to get us through, anyway. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, uh, and make it all silage. I'm, I'm completely out of silage. Ooh, hey, car. Okay, I think we're good now. Yeah, we're good. So, yeah, we're going to make it all silage. That should, uh, should do us okay. But, uh, it was a little difficult to get this raked up in places. But, um, not that big of a deal. We'll just get it all bailed up now. And, uh, like I said, turn it all into silage. And that should do us a pretty good job, I think. We'll have some nice uh, marshmallows out here in the field. Let's see if we can get this little area up here in the corner. That was the bad part about these tight corners up here, is it's very difficult to get up in here and get the uh, remainder. But I think we can get it done. At least I hope so, anyway. Yeah, I think we're going to be just fine. We'll just have to work the corner a little bit differently than we're used to. But we should be all right. Things are looking up so far, I think. Um, animals seem to be doing really well. Oh, there's our first bale. And looks like it's going to be a pretty good one. Like I said, that looks pretty darn good. And it looks like we're going to be able to grab all of this and um, make, a, make a decent amount of bales here, I think. Quite a few of them, anyway, I hope. But... I also want to look at a little bit more land here in the uh, very near future. I, I really I really do want to get uh, kind of caught up on land because we need the arable crop, but we're also going to need the, uh, the grassland. And I think a little bit bigger area for grassland would help us out. That was close next to that gate. Uh, glad I moved this over so as far as I did. But I'm going to go ahead and get to uh, wrapping all these bales up, and I will see you here in just a few minutes.
All right, there we go. We have got all that bailed up. A little bit we can't get right there. This is just honestly not the greatest field for uh, bailing, but uh, it is what it is. I think in the future, we are going to look at um, alternatives for that field. Maybe we will, um, maybe we'll do something a little different with it, you know. Um, that would be a good place to maybe try to do a root crop because um, I think I want to give it a try. I want to see if we can get some root crops done. It would be nice to have uh, maybe like potatoes or something in there. I don't know yet. We'll work on that here in the near future. But at the moment, we need to pick up all of these bales and get them where they can start fermenting. And then we are going to need this tractor again to spread lime on the field. Now this might be a little bit longer episode than normal, but we're gonna try to do the best that we can here. Because we're gonna get these bales picked up and I've got the perfect location for them. And we'll use our new lifter. That way we don't accidentally stab or, you know, hurt the bales any. Well, come on. There we go. But, uh, yeah, we found this brand new for $8,000. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I thought that was a pretty good deal for picking up bales. We, uh... We don't have to have our front loader or nothing. We just go grab them and uh, move them across from one side to the other. So, and, and we're really not going that far. But when we do have to sell off some bales, then we can use the, uh, the big bale trailer. Let's get this down. We can start picking up some of these bales here. There we go. And away we go, getting them all nice and picked up and ready. But like I said, I looked at how many hay bales we had. We still have a large quantity of hay bales. So I don't think at this point in time we're really going to need them. We'll just have to wait and see how much uh, how much we go through. I'm n I'm not sure. You know, it's kind of one of those guessing games. There we go. Look out, bud! Go home. I think we're full here, aren't we? Yes, we are full. So let's fold this up and uh, we'll go put it, put it away at home and then come get some more. Um, yeah, I just can't believe how well this is kind of working out for us. Man, all of our animals are looking good. I'm happy. I am a happy camper. Let's see here. Nice and easy. Yeah, I'd like to get rid of that fence if I could, or at least take a chunk out of it, but uh, they concreted it in really well. I mean, really, really well. And this seems like the best place of any to put these bales because, you know, we're not going to be using this as a silo anymore, so there's no real reason for me um, not to put stuff in here. You know, it just kind of kind of works out perfect for it to just stack right back here in the corners and, and uh, be here. And we can reach it. 
There we go. Perfect. We can reach it with the with the front loader and pull bales down as we need them. So, all in all, it works out pretty good for our favor. But I'll go ahead, get the rest of these picked up real quick, and uh, I'll see you here in just a few. All right, there we go. We got them all stacked up. We'll go have a look at them here in just a minute. But we're going to get this put away. And, uh, yeah, that actually turned out really well. I'm, uh, I'm impressed. But now the part that I'm kind of dreading, we're going to see how much lime these fields are now going to take because of being worked again. And, you know, they took a lot the very first time afterward, but I'm hoping... They won't take near as much now as they did last time. And to be honest with you, I don't even know how much lime I have left. I might have to order some delivered. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, we got about three bags. Let's go ahead and load that up and let's see what we come up with here. I imagine we're probably going to have to order more or go get more, one of the two. But should not take too terribly long. And I wouldn't imagine we'd go through as much lime as we did last time. Okay, let's hop out here. Grab these out. Whoops. One more back in here hiding in the corner. Tricky little dude. Okay. Let's see how much lime we have left. I'm... I honestly don't know. I don't remember what we ended up with the last time. So hopefully... We have enough. Maybe... Maybe we won't go through as much as time. Maybe we'll get lucky. But we can find out with that field right behind us. There we go. We got 50%. Let's just find out right here. We'll see how much we uh, how much we need. Well, that don't look too bad. We're getting good coverage here, looks like. Yeah, I think we're getting pretty darn good coverage. And uh, we only used 5% on that field. Let's go see what our uh, bigger fields look like real quick. And uh, how much they're going to need. I mean, I know we got a massive spread, so it goes rather quickly out onto the fields. But to be honest, that doesn't look all that bad at the moment. We don't want to be donating to our neighbors again. Although that uh, potentially someday could be ours. I, I doubt it, but you never know. It would be nice to have that field right there because we could, but, well, maybe. I'm going to say potentially take the hedge out and make it all one big, big field, but I don't think with that fence there we can. Well, there's two of the fields that we needed limed done. So let's go check back here on this other big field. And maybe just because that very first time there was so little there, we, uh, we just needed a lot. I mean, we are taking care of the property quite a bit better than we used to. Oh, watch out for your eyes, pupper. I didn't even phase him. He's all right. But, uh, yeah, look at that. 
We're either going to have just enough or maybe right on the edge, I think. We shall find out here very shortly. It's looking really good, though. It really is. Oh, and we're donating lime to the neighbor. We definitely don't need to be doing that. We need to keep as much of this on our property as possible. Look at that. I think we are going to be okay this time on lime. And if not, we're going to be darn close to being right on. And there we go. That is all the fields limed up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and get across here. Um, I don't know if they need fertilizer. If they do, we will spread some slurry and what's left of the manure to cover that. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that first. We'll just leave this little bit of lime in here. Let's see if we can uh, maybe spread some slurry or something else on here. There we go. Okay, let's see. We'll need this tractor. We do have... I see we do have some manure down here, so we're going to try to use the manure up first. Manure seems to work really well on, uh, well, both of them seem to work really well on our grassland. There we go. We got what little bits left. Ah, uh, we've got a fairly good amount in here. I wouldn't say it's great, but it's a fair amount. Okay. Now, I haven't used one of these in quite a while, so I don't know how far it spreads, but let's just find out, shall we? Yeah, it spreads a fair distance. That's looking pretty good. We are definitely adding some uh, nutrients back in. But I don't think it's going to go very far, to be honest. I really don't. I think we're going to end up putting slurry down, too in the long run. But it looks like we're doing a pretty good job here. We sure are kicking that lime up onto the tractor though. Man, are we kicking that lime up. turn that off, get turned around here, and we'll run the other direction and run this out onto this property. Looking pretty good. Looking real good, to be honest. At least it's not going to waste. That is the important part, is we're not wasting um, any of our materials.
Yeah, look at look at it go. I think we're going to run out here real quick. I mean, if we do run out, it's not that big of a deal. We'll grab a slurry tanker and put slurry out because we have definitely got plenty of it to go around. All right, there we go. It is empty now. So we'll go put it away and we'll grab our slurry tanker here. And we'll get the slurry spread around. That's a pretty good uh, manure spreader. You know, for being older and kind of worn out, it still does a very good job. I'm impressed. I, I think we'll keep that around. First time I've actually got to use it. So I'm, uh, I'm pleased with it. But now, let's see if we can get our slurry spreader hooked up here and get it filled. There we go, get her filled up with some fresh slurry. Now, I don't think the slurry is going to go as quick as the manure did, but I also know it doesn't put near um, the amount down. Um, it seems like the manure spreader adds more, but the slurry spreader is a little bit more slow going. Let's go find out here. Now, we've done this before. We have added slurry before in the past. That's, uh, that's nothing new for us. I didn't catch it on camera last time. But, uh, yeah, it does a really good job of adding right away adding a nice yeah look at the colors change there on our gps does a really good job of uh, bringing bringing that pa or the uh, nitrogen level up which is the main thing we're wanting to do is just uh bring it up bring it up so that the grass has some nutrients and uh, hopefully we get a really good stand for our second cutting of the year. I think we will. I really do. I think we'll get a real good uh, second cutting. And it will help us out tremendously. Yeah, look at it spread out there. That's looking good. Might be a little smelly for a couple of days around here, but uh, at least the grass will produce better for our animals. Which, I mean, let's be honest, that's what really matters. Okay, here's another area we could add a little bit more. I think we should be able to do uh, what's left here with what we've got left in the uh, tanker. Maybe, maybe not. We might have to go get another tanker. But I know when we spread it before, it sure helped out a lot. It really made it so we, uh, we had less cost overall. Look at that. We're going to run right out. Just right in time. There we go. This field should have a decent amount. Let's have a look, see if it got down in there really well. Oh, yeah. We definitely got quite a bit down in here. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. 
Okay. Well, we'll go refill, and we've got basically two more fields to get done. We got a little one over there by the sheep, which will do it last, and then we've got our other field across the way. So, definitely a positive with the slurry. And it's not like we don't have plenty of slurry to go around. Uh, I think our cattle, between our cattle and everything else, that old slurry pond over there is not going down very fast. So we, de we definitely have enough not to have to worry. All right, let's see here. Get backed up over here. And we're basically just doing all this today so that we are prepared for tomorrow. Because I believe tomorrow, May, we will be in the field cutting our crops that we planted, or at least some of them. And it's, it's about time. We're ready. You know, we really are ready for that change and that boost that we haven't had. We'll just go ahead and start right here, right up along the edge. Yeah, that's looking really good. Look how nice that's filling in. Oops. A little bit tight in that corner there. But we made it. We made it. That's all that matters is we made it through the corner. Yeah, that looks really good. Putting down a nice layer of fresh slurry. You just don't you know, you just don't think about what it is. That's all you do. You just think, nope, nope, I don't know what that stuff is. And it'll be okay. I don't know, this side over here might take a couple of refills. Um, it's going out pretty quick compared to over on the other side. Maybe we had some uh, nutrients lost over here. I don't know. And I see a little little bit of grass we missed here and there, but that will rot back in and also provide nutrients into the soil for us. So that'll help out as well. Kind of a win-win situation for us. All right. And, you know, the nice thing is we won't lose any of that, uh, we shouldn't, I say shouldn't, lose any of our lime because the slurry is sticking that lime right down to the ground, holding it there in place. So hopefully that works. Okay, let's get back over there again. Not much longer. Boy, it sure seems like it's taken a while, but... All of this hard work, all of this repetitive work will pay off. It'll, um, it'll be good for the farm, good for us. Um, we need to start kind of diving into the neighborhood, I think. Learning who our neighbors are. And um, I think that's going to help us when it comes to buying land. You know, maybe if we help some people out, do some contracts or, or whatever they ask. You know, maybe they will uh, respond in kind and be very, um, well, nice to us when it comes to buying property. Because, you know, some of our prices are pretty high. I I'm not going to lie. I have looked at the property around here, and I remember when I was looking at it, when I first found it, this area, 
it was like, wow, I'm going to be paying quite a bit for the farmland around here. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's been worth it. It has been worth every second of it. But I've noticed, yeah, things are a little bit on the high side. They really are. And maybe if we uh, work for some locals, help them out, see if there's any needs that they have, um, maybe we'll get some better pricing. But the first thing we're going to do is, of course, get our stuff harvested. Then we'll start looking at that, you know, extra contracts to do. I, I definitely want to get our property taken care of first before we start looking for the extras. So we will definitely be doing that. Got a little bit left over over here. Let's, uh, let's get that while we can. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, one last field. That's all we've got for today. It's just this one last field over here. And thankfully, it's not very big. It's just that little spot. And, and like I said, I am seriously considering putting in something like potatoes over here. Um, it's really starting to weigh on me that that might be a good idea might be a good use of the area and the land we'll just have to wait and see but yeah I mean this is such a small field you know this area is so small and so tight quartered that you know something something small we're do we're not doing a massive crop could be beneficial to us. I really do believe so. And it's not like we're, you know, we, we don't have to rent the gigantic machinery that is involved with like sweet potatoes and potatoes, sugar beets, carrots. We can go a little bit smaller. And I do believe that's probably what we will do. Look at there, perfect amount of slurry. That was excellent. Well, we can now put this back in its little corner. And I think I'm going to look into that. I think I'm going to look into um, the possibility of doing something like potatoes or you know, I don't, I don't know what time of year they run or anything. But I definitely would like to think about it. Okay, that ought to be good enough. Let's go ahead and fill it up so it's ready to go the next time we're ready to go. Sure takes a while to fill, but, you know, the pump can only handle so much at one time. There we go. That looks a little bit more straight. Perfect. We are completely full. Okay. Well, for the moment being, we'll just uh, park this right in here. There we go. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.